Hello everybody. Today the government of Canada made a major announcement about the immigration levels plan for the next three years, 2025, 26 and 27. Every year in these plans, they announce the number of permanent residents that they will be taking in in the next three years. And as expected, the immigration targets for the next couple of years have gone down significantly by more than 20%. This year, they've also included the immigration targets for the temporary residents, including the foreign workers and the international students. And as you would expect, the numbers there have also gone down significantly. So in this video, we will talk about this immigration levels plan for the next three years. And even when there's a reduction of more than 20% in the immigration quota for the permanent residents, there's still a hidden great news for all those who are already in Canada, maybe international students or temporary foreign workers, because your quota is going even higher despite the reduction in the total number. We will talk all about this in this video. So as I told you, every year they announced the target for the number of permanent residents for the next three years. So last year they announced the number for 2024, this year, and the next two years, 25 and 26. So 24 is about to end. For 2025 and 26, last year the target was announced at 500,000 for each year. But now in today's announcement, they have reduced this number for 2025 by 21% bringing it down to 395,000 and for 2026 they reduced the target by 24% bringing it down to 380,000. 2027 would see an even lower number 365,000. If this was a couple of years ago we would make this video that Canada would be inviting more than 1.1 million residents in the next three years but because last year they announced the numbers to be even bigger 1.5 million that's why there's this significant reduction that we have to talk about it reflects the anti-immigration sentiment in canada the trudeau government is well aware about it they've taken multiple steps in the past because there are elections next year so we were definitely expecting a significant drop to be announced in this announcement today okay this video today is only for the overview of the numbers the announcements that have been made today in the next video we will talk in detail about the different categories what are the immigration targets for each categories and we'll also compare it with what was announced last year so these details would be discussed in the next video but what was the good news that i was talking about despite this reduction in the overall immigration targets they've increased the target for all those who are already in Canada. Here they have mentioned that it is anticipated that more than 40% of overall permanent resident admissions in 2025 will be students or workers who are already in Canada. So this is a good news, a ray of hope for those who are already in Canada as temporary residents, whether you are working or an international student. Let's dive quickly into the numbers and try to understand it better. Break up of that big number 395,000 and they have defined different streams here. So each stream would have its own target, its own quota. So it is divided into multiple streams like economic, uh, family, refugees and protected persons. So here, this year they have introduced this special section which mentions in Canada focus. I have this announcement from last year and this section was not mentioned. So this stream or section, as you may want to call it, has been introduced for the first time. And it seems that what was here last year, federal high skilled, this has been broken down into two different parts, which is federal economic priorities and in Canada focus. So if you add up these two numbers, it would come up roughly to be more than 124,000, which is greater than what was mentioned last year. Now the interesting part here is this in Canada focus. Until last year, they never announced this sort of target or this quota, but for the first time they've announced it and they've clearly mentioned that these are primarily admissions from the Canadian experience class. So that's a sigh of relief for all those who are already in Canada who might be actually waiting. Your numbers haven't been slashed. In fact, now we have a better number that indicates that they may do big numbers of CEC draws in the next year. Now an obvious question, when they have increased those targets, where is the actual reduction? Actually, there is a significant reduction in all different streams. 
We will talk about it in the next video, but the biggest reduction is actually in the PNP programs. Last time the target that was announced for PNP was 120,000, but it has now been reduced to 55,000 only. So the PNP programs would take the biggest hit, but we'll discuss the more details in the next video. I'll make the detailed comparison with the announcements that were made last year, but just to give you a quick overview of the reduction apart from PNP, there have been reductions in the family class. So if you see for 2025, 26 and 27, they would continuously reduce it from 95,000 down to 81,000. However, they announced it last year that it would be rising from 114,000 to 118,000. Then similarly in the refugees and protected persons, it was in the upwards of 70,000 and now they've announced that this would come down to the 50,000s. But let's talk about all these different aspects in the next video. Thing to note here is that they've mentioned about the 2025 priority categories. They have mentioned about the healthcare, the trade occupations and the French language proficiency. But two important categories are missing from here, which is STEM and transport categories. So it would be a big blow for all those people who were actually thinking of getting into those categories with lesser jobs in STEM and transport occupations. It seems that this is the end of these two categories, at least until the end of 2025. Okay, now let's talk about the temporary residents. As I told you, for the first time ever, they announced the targets for the temporary residents as well, including the international students and the temporary foreign workers. Okay, so they have announced these numbers today for the international workers and for students as well. It seems that the number is going to stay the same for the international students at 306,000 approximately, but it would vary significantly in the next couple of years for the international workers. So these numbers for international workers would drive the total number of temporary residents. It would be on the higher end in 2025 and then it would be pretty lower in the next year of 2026. So their target is to reduce the share of temporary residents to 5% of the total population of Canada by the end of 2026. It is currently around 6.5%. So with these measures, they plan to bring it down to 5%. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. As I told you earlier, this is just an overview for the announcements that they've made today. As and when you go deeper into these details, you find so many interesting things. And as I'm collecting all that data, I'll make another detailed video about the same topic in the next couple of days. So if you're interested, please subscribe to this channel. Also, if you have any questions, any comments or feedback, please put them down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you in the next one.